Alrighty, everybody, welcome back to the LTA show. I'm your host, Felix, and I got a special guest, Byron. How are you today? Hey, I'm good. Um, you know, just normal, normal Tuesday, just, you know, how are you doing? I'm doing good. Um, nice. you know, it's the day off. So, you know, I know we talked about it before this podcast that we wanted to schedule one, and now we finally did, and I'm just excited to have another one i haven't done one i think last time was like the 10th so and it's been like two weeks now so i gotta keep posting at least something you know um yeah dude you know you're you're be you're better than me at it because i have like a blog um, on my website i haven't posted in like two months like i need to i need to get back on that it's, it's been a while but you know you're doing great though so far so like you know keep it keep it up Thanks, man. Um, you know, we when we first met um, at work, you did mention a blog, and I was actually really surprised because I don't really know anyone else that like has actually made a blog and like wrote stuff. So, kind of curious on, you know, what what made you want to start it, and like, you know, uh, like what gave you the ideas to like write stuff. You know. So um, the reason why I started it was because I've always wanted to make a website. Um, because, like, I remember, like, going on Squarespace and, like, customizing. Because you get, like, a, you know, 14-day uh, trial. So I would customize the website, and it would be so much fun. And, like, like there's some features that you would have to, you know, like, um, pay for to use, like, code injection. And I just, like, you know, I just like making stuff. Um, so I made, like, I just decided to, you know, just, like, you know, make the website. I had, like, a... A discount so I was like okay you know I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do it and see like where it takes me right and um I just started writing like a couple blogs here and there you know and you know honestly I just did it out, like out of it being fun and also like like it's a good it's a good way to you know differentiate yourself if you're like because I create a lot of stuff like I make music and I make uh like a lot of clothing and stuff so it's also like another way to you know put yourself out there because like you could put you could make a blog right mm -hmm. and uh you could like put it on Pinterest and there's so many people like on Pinterest and you could you know just get those people to click on like that catchy image and then they'll probably read your blog or they'll just check out your stuff and they'll be like oh hey I really like you know this artist and they'll probably you know like continue to follow you you know it's just another way to like give to you know like a community you're trying to build yeah so yeah. You, you like to create a lot of things so like website blog um any others that you've created um well that's actually my first website it's called byron's website i'm not really good at like naming stuff so you know i was just like oh hey byron's website like who who else would like like name their stuff like oh you know felix's website or something normally it's like <laughs> like a brand or something and i'm just i was just like you know what i'm just gonna name it this i'm gonna um because like like i just thought it would it was it was quirky you know so um I named it uh, that, and I think it's, like, a good place for, like, me to put all of my stuff on, like, because uh, I make stickers, I make, like, uh, t-shirts, like, I even bought a Cricut recently, um, and I think it's, like, a good place to, like, sell on, you know, because I also, I have an Etsy shop that I'm making soon, but, really? um, yeah, it's, ca it's called um, The Wizard's Cottage, that's what I'm going to name it, because, um, I don't know I'm just like really into like magic and like wizards and I've always been into that and I really want to like li live in a cottage like that's like one of my dreams people want to live in a mansion I just want to like live in a cottage in the woods or something but um yeah no uh I'm making that right and I I bought like so many pe 
pieces of paper like literally i have a box right next to me and there's just so much paper i don't know if you see it <laughs> yeah, like, I <laughs> can't see it because it's the screen <laughs> yeah the screen <laughs> can't see it but um i have so many paper right and uh, i've been testing them and like dude i put it even my wallet all i have are stickers like i just carry stickers i don't even carry like cash like with me it's just all stickers um because i want to get like other people's opinions so i just like pull it out i'm like oh hey which paper feels the nicest dude i still need to ask you that's what i forgot like because um i've asked like you know other people at our at our work um but yeah no um i've been testing that out i've also bought a laminator dude laminators are like pretty cheap they're like 30 dollars, which are just pretty yeah. nice yeah so i um because i thought they were gonna be like really expensive like 200 or something but no they're pretty reasonably priced so i bought that recently and like i have a couple pouches and stuff and like i'm just testing it out because like i want like the quality like of something as small as a sticker to be like the best you know it's kind of like how um like you know apple curated the like huge like community and became Sorry about my dog. You get, you get. Yeah. Um, yeah, because someone's outside. Like, so, my bad. But um, what was it saying? Yeah, so you know how Apple created this, like, community where, um, where, like, they only release something if, like, they truly believe that it's going to... Yeah, I'm, I'm so sorry about that. You're good, you're good. Continue. All right. But no, um they only want to or they'll only release like a product if they believe it's like worthy enough you know what i mean like if you look at their stickers it's really like high quality um i mean that that wasn't like there's like you know hiccups here and there you know like with uh i think it was like i think it was a mac 2 um that didn't do as well because uh i believe like steve jobs or someone like uh they wanted to remove something that like, I forgot exactly what it was, but, like, Steve Wozniak made this, like, computer, right, and I think it was, like, the Mac 2, and um, someone, like, tried to, like, remove some of the parts, and it didn't do, it was, like, one of the biggest flops, like, Apple's ever made, because, um, you know, they didn't, like, they were cutting corners, you know, and see, like, that's, that's the thing, I don't really like cutting corners, I, I always, like, try to, you know, get the best quality, because like, like if you, if you like lack on the quality side of something, then um, like a lot of people aren't going to come to it, you know, like, cause I, like the way I see it is it's more of an art rather than like, you know, just a product to sell. Cause like, I don't really like selling things um, or, you know, making things and like putting out in, into the public. If it's not, you know, up to my standards or something I would enjoy or something you know, I would be happy with, you know, like, purchasing or consuming in some sort of way, um, because, like, like, to me, it's, it's art, you know, like, and it's also, like, you put your name on it, you know, and, like, I, I also value, like, like, being credible, I want people to, you know, like, see me and, like, be like, oh, yeah, like, this guy makes, like, really good stuff, I could trust him, and that's what, that's what Apple, like, like, you know, and, um, like, Google, Ooh, and like all these big companies like even Nintendo they have like good products you know people are like oh like they're trustworthy like I'm gonna continue like supporting them because I you know like just believe in their brand and they make high quality things so yeah like your model though like it's it's very important I think and a lot of businesses they always try to like you know try to make money as quick as possible but you know, it. you bring a good point that, you know, with businesses, you got to really make sure that the quality of your product is actually, you know, satisfying both the the, the creator and also the, the customer too. Because, you know, I'm sure with your sticker brand or like your your sticker store, you want the best quality because you, you want them to come back. Like, you know, they, they chose your store for a reason. It's the art and also just the quality and to be able to do both. I think, you know, I think that's a good goal that you have in mind whenever you're making a sticker and I'm sure you're going to be pretty successful with it. You know, just, 
just keep post keep making the stickers that you want and then you know i think it's good that you're actually getting feedback now from other people the quality like does this feel nice because you know you never know until someone purchases it but you know the other way is like actually giving it to people to actually feel and see what it looks like and then you can get their input there rather than having to make that costly decision and then like it doesn't turn out as good as you thought so yeah see i mean like a lot of people already do that you know like how uh tv shows they get like a bunch of people to watch a tv and then if they like it then they'll green light it if they don't they'll like you know say oh we'll pass on the tv show like it's it's always about like getting as many um you know groups and like as many um people to you know see their product and the more people who like it the more groups then i feel like the more successful it might become you know yeah 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 so sticker store huh etsy and do you plan on like going into other uh marketplaces like uh I don't know about eBay, but like Mercari or like you know, other stores like that as well. Um, probably not, cause like I just like how Etsy, Etsy's like energy is like their vibe, cause like a lot of things. I feel like a lot of reasons why people you know uh, gravitate towards things are vibes, you know, or energy of something. And the energy of Etsy is just like really fees are. not i think we're cutting out here or maybe it's my internet i don't know aaron are you there <laughs> you're frozen on my screen <laughs> technical difficulties i think it might be my internet is it my internet I'm not sure. Oh, hello. So, yeah, he froze there, so I was like, what's that? But yeah, yeah. So, um, where I left off, yeah, no, um, it's more about just, like, gaining knowledge and seeing, like, what works, how to, you know, market certain things, or, like, you know, like, like, just learning, you know? That's why I made it on Etsy first. I might put some on the website as well, but, um, you know, it's all about, you know, just gaining knowledge and, like, trying to, you know, just grow your mind and everything. Yeah. And so can I ask, are the stickers, like, hand-drawn? Like, you've designed it and then you've, you're going to print it on the sticker or you have someone that's making the art for you in a way that you want? So um, I always make my own art. Like, I, I don't know, like, for me, I... I I like, you know, understanding every single part of something like I do, you know, I make like, like if I, cause like, um, so right now I'm, you know, I, I tried drawing it like on a sketch pad, like uh, on paper and then, you know, scanning it and then transferring it to like Photoshop, taking out the background so it could be transparent, but it's not as good because uh, it, it gets all the details you know like so yeah. when you're cutting it it's like kind of rough so um that's why I wish I had an iPad but like sadly I don't but um right now I just make like pixel art I use like this uh software called a sprite and um I just kind of make that like I had an old burger uh pixel art I made a long time ago and I uh like I've been like testing that out that's like one of the main things I've been testing out but um, yeah, I'm probably just going to stick to like, you know, pixel art. And then once I do get an iPad, I'll, you know, switch to that. Because like I've had, I have a drawing tablet, but then it's, it's like not as good, you know, like, like the pressure sensitivity and all that. So uh -huh. like, so it, it's not the best, but um, yeah, like, you know, you just got to work with what you got. So I've just been, I'll just, I'm just going to keep focused on pixel art and um yeah slowly like buy an ipad and start drawing on there there you go um yo how do you get your inspiration from like the artwork that you're making is it from like something you see on pinterest is it like from people is it like tv show like what what gives you the inspiration to make it you know um like every single art i 
I make, I, it's always like random, you know, sometimes I'll be, you know, like watching something and I'll be like, oh, that looks really cool. I feel like if I add this or do this or something to it, it could be even better, you know, or like change like this. Cause like, like art is something that, um, like everyone takes inspiration from everyone, you know, like you can't just like, you don't make everything like from scratch you know like everything's like you know how everyone says everything's already made so like yeah. you you can never make anything new so like I think everything's every time like I see anything I watch a movie I watch a tv show like I listen to music like or anything I always gain um like inspiration from that but it's always it's always random you know you never know when you're gonna get it sometimes I'll just be you know sitting there like like well one of the best things though I feel like is just just sitting down and not thinking at all because once you do that your mind is just clear and then things just come out of nowhere like it's it's like like they just come out randomly like um you know how like like people try to gain uh inspiration by listening to a lot of music I feel like like I've listened to a lot of music and I've gained inspiration from like certain artists like you know Bobby Brown there's like this one remix where he um he basically like uh manipulates the time to like where it's like a you know stutter so like it goes back it's like this um it's a remix of the song so it's like it's like really amazing I remember I was inspired by that but I've always also been inspired just by like like sitting down and just like staring at nothing and just doing nothing and just um and just like getting ideas and I'm like oh but the thing is you always have to act on those ideas but sometimes like with me I just like I think about those ideas but like I don't know why sometimes I just don't like like capitalize on it like you know what I mean like I'll, I'll just sit there I'll get the idea I'll get the inspiration but like I should just I should do it but like I just keep thinking about it you know and building on to it and then later once that inspiration or that drive like goes away then it, you kind of like you kind of don't get that back you know so like that's happened to me once in a while like sometime but like I always try to capitalize on like a certain like inspiration I've received you know or like a certain idea I've like kind of come up with and I'm really passionate about because like once you lose that passion for that thing then you know, like, it's very hard to get it back. So. Interesting. Um, I mean, I can see music. I didn't, that's a good tip. Just staring, and not having anything in mind. Huh. I feel like there, there have been some times where, like, I don't know if you, you've also had this, but, like, when you're taking a shower, for some reason, like, you have a thought, like, it just comes out of nowhere, and it's, like, something like you just never would have thought of like it could be something innovative or just like an idea or concept that it's just like wow that just came out of nowhere like I don't know I think there was like something like with a study or something it's like when you're taking that shower like it's it's like you're I don't know it's like a certain part of your brain is like firing like all like all circuits and everything it's crazy I don't know if you've ever had that experience before yeah like how you feel like this? oh he froze for a second but yeah no um yeah like I agree with you um like I, that's happened to me so many times like literally I'll like I'll just be in the shower and I'll get come up with an idea and I'll have to like because my phone is always like by the sink so like get out of the shower real quick write it down or like um I'll, I'll think of like a melody or something and I'll just hum it onto like my phone like I, I have oh my god dude I have like over two or three hundred uh voice memos like on my phone really of just just yeah just random melodies some of them like I've listened like I've uh, you know um played it back to hear it and there there's some of them really good and others are just like yeah like it was all right but yeah. like yeah like it's it's crazy how just you know taking a shower can you know spark up new, and create new ideas you know like it's 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 like I it's crazy like everyone everyone does it yeah I mean yeah. that's that's interesting though it's good that you're actually taking note of it because I think a lot of people 
they have that idea, but like they don't bother writing it. And like even coming back to it, sure it might not be as good as you thought it'd be, but the fact that you've recorded it, it could be the next big thing. It, it could be the next thing that makes you successful. I don't know. It's just it's like a great way to get inspiration. Yeah. And you know what was the best part is when you um let's say you record it right and then you just leave it there when you need inspiration you could just go back to it and then you could be like okay yeah that's really good and i'm gonna work on that you know because you forget about it and then it just like comes back to you you know by like having it there so you know that's that's it's like great having like a list of things because like humans aren't meant to like memorize things like that's why paper was made that's why like computers were made we were meant to like create and then once we like create and like think of stuff, we write it down to keep a note of it. So we have room in our brains to like continue making, you know? Yeah. So Yeah. That's a good way to put it. Uh, I'd also, also like to add, I think, you know, notes like on your phone, I think those are like a great way, like even cause you know, like, um, some people like they don't carry notebooks as you know, as it's like, it's very rare to see someone carrying a notebook, a little pocket one writing down ideas whereas a phone like you know if you have an idea like you're just walking you can just pop open your phone go to the notes app just write it down and i think that's like another great way of just recording thoughts or just inspiration out of nowhere there should be no yeah. excuse yeah, really there shouldn't be any excuse like like our phones are so powerful like we have the power to like change our our lives and other people's lives just with the phone like in our pockets you know is that's that's crazy like like we could trade like a stock right like let's say you know like you buy a stock for this much you, like and it goes up crate like a crazy amount next week you could literally like change your entire life like like okay so back when you know when dogecoin was like like you know super popular and stuff yeah yeah so i remember oh my god dude this kills me to this day so like um back in like i think it was 2020 of october yeah 2020 of october so dogecoin was less than a penny it was like 0. 0.002 like two so it was like two tenths of a penny I was going to buy it, but the reason why I didn't buy it was because I was scared that, or I wasn't scared, but like, I was nervous of what people would say. They would, they would be like, oh, that's such a dumb investment. Oh, blah, 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 blah. Right. And like, what, three or four months later, it just skyrockets and it goes up to 10 cents. And I, I remember reading articles back, like when it was lower than a penny that will it ever, you know, hit a penny. And it just like blew like a penny. It went to like 10 cents. It went to 50 cents. One time, like, <laughs> 90, dude, it almost went to a dollar, man. I could have like it at the time I was just going to put $20. Like I could have that 20 could have been like, you know, 5,000. But I was thinking like, what if I like put like all the money I had, I could have literally been a millionaire after taxes. And I was like, man, like it's it's crazy i should have just followed my gut that's that's the thing you always have to follow your gut because like um because like so other people they just they won't like um because like um you you know what's the best for you because you know you so well like other people won't be able to like make your destiny other people won't make your actions you have to make them yourself so like when you feel something you should just act on that, you know, if you truly, truly feel it, you know, and, like, I didn't, so, like, that was a lesson, but, like, man, soon, soon, it will, man, but, you know, that's how it is, that's how the market is. Okay, it's, it's a lesson, and yeah. um, I think everyone's kind of learned a lesson or two the hard way, like, missed opportunity, um, but, you know, I feel like those experiences kind of help you later on in the future when you make a decision, like, sure, like, you missed on, like, a thousand dollars on Dogecoin, but, like, you know, the next time you have, like, a big opportunity and you're, like, very hesitant on it, like, you can use that experience and just kind of apply it and then, you know, like, there's, there's, a, there's plenty of opportunity coming in along the way, so, like, don't feel like you just missed the biggest opportunity in your life, you know, there, there are plenty of others just waiting, you just got to just be prepared and like, you know, like just 
like you said, just follow the gut, kind of. Yeah, and like people should like I. I also think about like making your own opportunities, you know, because you have like so much like resources and stuff. You could make your own opportunities. You don't have to like rely on like another, you know, source, whether it's a person or whether it's like luck or chance or something. Like you have the ability to, you know, change your destiny or make what you need to make, you know? So it's also making your opportunities and like capitalizing on it. I think a lot of people forget to capitalize on it and that's where they say they mess up. So yeah. 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 I mean, I, I think that's good life lessons right there from Byron. So Thanks, question, when, when do you think these uh, stickers will come out? I know it's like very off topic, but I'm like curious now to see, I'm sure you've thought about it. You've had designs ready. Now you just need the quality, but once you get that quality, when do you think you're going to start producing? So um, the printer is going to come tomorrow because I need a replacement. <laughs> so um, probably next week. Next week? Wow. Yeah. Yeah, probably. Most likely. All right. Because I'm going to yeah. check on that website. Or I don't know where. That's it's gonna, it. Yeah, it's going to be on Etsy. I'll send it to you. Um, I'll also put it on like my website. Like I'll put like a side thing, like Etsy shop too. So, yeah, yeah, I'll definitely send it to me because I'll put it in the description in the podcast. So that way people can check it out. And because I'm sure they're very curious to see what you have in stored. I'm yeah, sure you yeah. You know, I was also thinking about putting it on my website as well. But like, I don't know, like, if that would like contradict, you know, like, like each other. So I might just put it, make it on the Etsy. Because like, um, putting like one product in too many like sites might like diminish your returns but um i don't know we'll see i i mean i would argue that if you have you know your website i think it's a great way to capitalize you know like letting people know like hey you do have a shop because you know if someone stumbles across your website they might be curious to see what you have and then they might if you have that website link It'll take them to the shop. If they like, if they like uh, the stickers, then they'll make a purchase. And if not, like that was like free exposure. Like you didn't have to pay any ads. Like it's just someone was interested in your website, and yeah. you just kind of redirected them. Now, there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. See, that that's the thing. Like I feel like I'm not like 100 percent like like sure I'm still like you know moving along like it's not everything is like totally planned out we're just kind of like moving with the curve but like on its uh, my main like focus is just like making sure like like my customers get the best product and they're like taken care of you know like that like honestly that's that's the main reason why like um a lot of companies succeed is because like customer service and customer experience like we look at Trader Joe's you know like yeah. um <laughs> like they get uh you could return anything literally like and like people are always just like you know nice to customers and stuff so it's all about like you know giving good experience and making sure they get what they initially wanted you know yeah hey I mean you can utilize your social media just you can have people that work at the same spot as your coworkers. you can sell them the sticker or like give them a free sample that's a free shout out right there that gets a lot of exposure yeah i was thinking about just giving like a bunch away because i made a lot but there were mistakes like like um because you know like some of my printer ink wasn't like uh working like blue wouldn't print so uh i made a burger so like the color green for the lettuce wouldn't print it would just be like yellow or something so um so i might give those away i wouldn't like sell them or something because like it's not really? up to standards but yeah like i was just thinking about giving those away like the mistakes because a lot of people like them like they didn't even notice like it was a bad so like i was thinking i mean like you know if if you do have like that same situation but like let's say the stickers or high quality it's just the color you know you, you never know maybe you could sell that like not as the same price maybe or like you could do the same price but it's like one of those like rare stickers you know the misprints because i'm sure people people have bought misprints from like 
stores and they actually prefer that because of how cool it was or like yeah. some people just they wanted they like the sticker but maybe just like that one color just didn't sit right but like that misprint it's a great opportunity you know like i wouldn't say like it's all going downhill if the, if the color doesn't print right you know that's an opportunity right there like someone might like that variation yeah like with pokemon cards or like funko pops and stuff yeah but man like um see that that's what always happens like sometimes i'll like make something and i'll be like it's not up to my standard but then i'll show like what what i was initially thinking and what i made you know and people like uh they like the thing that i made and not like what like the perfect thing they don't they uh they put that second you know so like they'd rather take like you know the imperfect thing than the perfect thing uh, that happened to me like a couple times like even when I was playing uh I was playing Jackbox like a few days ago with my friends and stuff and um and I remember I was writing like we were playing Quick Flash and Quick Flash is like this game where you like have a scenario and um you're supposed to give like an answer for that scenario and we were uh we were talking about acronyms and it was like give an acronym for um or, you know, this set of letters, right? And I I wrote something down. I wrote it really quickly and um, I pressed submit. And then like later, a couple of seconds later, I was like, oh man, I should have wrote this instead. And then later I found out like, oh, like I just, I won. Like they chose mine the highest out of mm -hmm. everyone. And then I told them what like I was thinking after like I wrote that one and they said, oh, I just like your first one better. So I was like, oh, you know, like, Sometimes you just got to go with your gut and not overthink it, you know? There you go. Yeah. I mean, it's it's good to have, like, a set standard, like, for yourself. But also, it's also dangerous because, you know, sometimes it's good to go with the other option, you know? Like, it's good to have, like, set standards, but, like, not to the point where it's, like, you're ashamed of all your other works because that other work could be like a popular one like 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 you said you know like just trust the gut like and everyone makes mistakes like nothing wrong with that it just shows we're we're human it's, it's not like yeah. a robot made the sticker you know yeah it like adds character to it so it's nice you know so yeah i, I like i like imperfections too like even with shoes you know like like sometimes you know messing it up you know like vans or something having beat up vans like look better than like you know perfectly clean vans so yeah yeah like it, it's kind of like that so imperfections as bad characters and stuff so yeah you know yeah. yeah but um yeah like you know i think um i think imperfections like they're they're they they could you know honestly they could uh they could create like something really great like the microwave wasn't meant to like you know be a like a real thing you know like um it was a it was a mistake in the beginning and then later it became like like a common household item like now every single house has a microwave and it was a mistake you know so like mistakes and, and things are imperfect you know they they always have a place you know they like whether it's in a bad place or a good place they're always like they have a place for it you know yeah yeah um i don't know that's pretty much all the questions i got anything else you'd like to add yeah. on anything any updates any anything in mind um not really do you do you have anything like anything you're working on like do you have uh do you Okay, so do you, like, uh, what kind of art do you make? Do you make, like, any sort of art, like, paintings or, like, um, any digital art, maybe? Or um, I did try digital art, I'd say, like, last year. Um, it was because I had time before I was, I was at school, and I had a lot of time to kill because I already did my homework. So I was like, you know what, I'm going to just, like, sketch or draw because... With the school that I'm in, um, it's really nice because they give you like a student access to like Adobe. Um, creative uh, Cloud. Yeah, Creative Cloud. So I was like, you know what? Like, 
I think this is great. Even if like I'm not like an art student or like a major or going into that, like just having that experience of trying it out would be nice. So I was like, you know what, I'm gonna try it. I tried it and it was it was interesting. Um I don't really have the finished product. I still have like a little rough draft, but it was nice to start it because I learned a lot. I was like, I thought it'd be like straightforward, but there's so many tools on there and like variety you can change it um i think that was interesting um i don't think i've really done anything art wise recently i'd say what i have gone into was like content creation so i've used like canva canva is like a great way to like make social media posts so i've been experimenting a lot with that and uh yeah just i made some rough designs some were good some were bad but it's all just honing in and adding more to my skill. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah. Canva, Canva is great. Like I use that for um, like making like my wallpapers, like for my home screen and my lock screen. Um, and dude, it's it's like so much fun because like changing your wallpaper and lock screen because you look at your phone every day, right? Looking at something new, it just like it changes your mood, you know. Like back then, what I would do normally was just put a, like a solid color. Cause you know how like colors can change your mood i would just keep like a solid color and, and now it's kind of like getting a lot more unique like right now it's um it's like the lock screens to the nether portal for minecraft and like the purple uh portals and then as soon as you open it it's like a, a pixel art of like the nether really so yeah so it's pretty cool and i made a couple other things like where uh it's just like an orange uh like the lock screen is just orange and then when you open it um there's a ghost that says boo on the home screen so it's like fun making those that's yeah. good it's a nice yeah. nice skill um, yeah and creative cloud is like really good too like um i've i've been using photoshop on there too i'm like i haven't used photoshop in like like years because you know like um because free or like you uh you buy like a perpetual license mm -hmm. no the internet you froze but now like it's subscription based another technical difficulty no oh yeah i, I think my hello he's cutting out Byron, hello? Uh oh. Uh, hey. Hey. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah, sorry. My, my, I'm using my PC right now. My, the Wi Fi for my PC is like bad. Okay. But yeah, um, yeah, like Photoshop. Like, I've been using Photoshop, and, like, it's really great. Honestly, like, the main thing I re really use it for is just, like, making transparent objects. Like, because, like, I don't know, it's just it's just easier to like, go on Photoshop. But, yeah, what do you what do you use, like, the most on Creative Cloud? Uh, I'd say Adobe Premiere. Um, Photoshop was intriguing, but I was like, eh, I don't know. I was like, I, was like, I don't want to try that. It just Premiere just sounded more interesting because... Get to draw whatever um yeah so i think yeah. that's that's the main one that i've used yeah what uh would you like uh what do you normally use premiere for is it for like the podcast or do you like also like would you make skits or like would you ever want to like you know make a short film or something <laughs> um good question Adobe Premiere, I only just use it just to try out the software. Um, Canva is mainly what I use for the thumbnails on um, the podcast or like any podcast posts. All those that I've made, it's all from Canva. I just mainly use that one just because it's free and it's easy to use. And I get to like make so many designs. It's I haven't had any problems with it. I've used, I've used Canva since like 2020 so 
Yeah, Canva is really good. Um, would you, would you ever like start like a YouTube channel and like make like you know <laughs> quirky stuff or like you know just you know stuff like Mr. Beast or something? Um, you know it's funny that you mentioned that. Um, back in the day, I don't think I've ever mentioned it. Um, maybe I have. I don't know if I did in the podcast. Um, great question. Uh, back in the day, uh, I'd say before the pandemic hit, um, I did make my own little vlog channel and I was like, you know, I have this footage from like a trip. I'm gonna make a video and just post it somewhere. So I just posted that. Um, and then one day I was like, you know what, I'm going to do like a vlog. I don't know who inspired me, but I was like, you know, I'm going to just try it. Cause like I have experience with video editing, so it wasn't that hard. So I just recorded and I did two videos of me like running like workouts. And then one video of me baking for the first time. That was interesting i still have the videos they're on the lta show but they're listed private uh but <laughs> and there's like two other videos the last two the recent was like me doing workouts it was like during the pandemic so quarantine everyone stayed at home i was like i'm just i got time to kill yeah you gotta videos. get your games up yeah, yeah so i just i just made some videos and posted it and <clears throat> I wasn't, the goal wasn't really to get like, like big YouTuber status is just documenting. Um, I think that's the biggest thing for me. I like to, I like to post things of like showcasing that I'm, I've grown not to like compare myself to other people, but it's more of like, I can look back at myself and see how much I've grown. And like, this is living proof. Like I'm like, it's like, I'm making my own documentary <laughs> basically. Yeah, yeah, that's, like, the best part about, like, making, you know, certain, like, like, stuff is that you get to look back at it, back at it, like, when you get older and you're, like, wow, like, I can't believe, like, like, I, I, you could remember that energy, how you're feeling during that time, and it's, like, it's nostalgic, you know, like, it's nostalgic to, it's, like, personally made for you, by you, and it's nostalgic for you, you know, so I think that's, like, really cool, but, like, uh, what camera did you use? What camera? Um, I use my mom's camera. Uh, it's funny because I actually never bought a camera. Uh, I always, I always use the ones that my mom had uh, because my mom only used a camera for taking photos of like vacation. So I was like, you know what? Um, this is a camera that I could use. I asked my mom for permission. She said, yeah, I can use it. So um, I think I have, it. I have it right now. I still use this camera. To make vlogs or used to make vlogs with it and um videos for the podcast whenever i did in person nice and yeah that's that's what i've been using um i don't know if i ever want to go up the next level and get those like insane studio cameras or whatever but you know if if i really do have more time with the podcast and like i don't know maybe i might go to that level like set up and everything studio we'll see yeah soon dude how long have you been doing the podcast though man i started like when the pandemic hit it was like april april something was wait april i remember the date april 20th i think something earlier maybe that was when first ever video or podcast I was just like, I had the idea, wanted to make it, and you know, if it if it goes well, great. If it doesn't, at least I tried. Yeah. Uh, do you what's what would you say your favorite podcast is right now? Favorite podcast, like like videos yeah. I've made. Um, or, or just... like, yeah, like videos you made and like uh, other you know shows like um it doesn't even have to be like really a podcast it could be like you know an interview kind of like show good question um favorite episode well i'd say my 
most favorite one right now is the anniversary, the two year anniversary that I did for the podcast. Uh, what I did was two year mark was coming up and I was like, I wanted to do something special. And so I was like, this random idea of like, hey, let's try to get like, I'm gonna try to get a lot of people and like, we're all just gonna be in one group call and just discuss whatever we want. Just kind of like a throwback of like, you know, I've had these previous guests. Now they're coming back for the special. And I had fun with it. It was fun organizing it. It was a little hectic because everyone's schedule was different. But once it actually happened, it was nice because some people have actually, that were guests on the show, they actually knew each other. Like they didn't really talk much, but with the podcast, they were able to like kind of reconnect a little bit like be like hey like we went to the same school how have you been you know it's nice to see that that interaction of like them meeting new people um and let's see favorite show or at least show that inspired me um honestly i think it would be i've mentioned it a lot in the past but like the gary v audio experience and um another one in particular uh it was a mindset mentor the mindset mentor it was good because like it was like 20 to like 30 ish minutes which was a nice time frame because a lot of people they don't really like listening to an hour podcast or at least personally i don't feel like i want to spend an hour to listen to a podcast nothing wrong with the show it's just an hour just feels long, you know, like 30 minutes, I can easily just put it, listen to it on a run or like doing some work. Um, and the mindset mentor really helped me learn a lot of new things um, in terms of mindset, mentality, all that sort of stuff. I think that's kind of helped me uh, become a little bit of who I am now. And then Gary V audio, uh, his big thing was just putting content like even if you may think it's not in in the entertaining for people like you can document yourself and I was like you know what I'm gonna do that and I tried different topics different um concepts and that's because of him like I was like I'm gonna just do it and not really worry too much about what people think about it like the the perception of like oh what are they gonna think about it you know yeah yeah See, that's, I think that's where um, a lot of people like end up, you know, falling into this pit of like not doing things is because they're scared of like the perception or like what people will think of their art and they're scared of the backlash, even if it's like really good. That's why like a lot of artists, when you like, like ask to see their drawing or something, they'll, um, they'll be like, oh, like, like, no, I don't know if it's good or something. And then you look at it, you're like, what, dude, this is amazing, you know? Yeah. But, um, yeah, it's like, like, it's a, a lot of, a lot of it has to do with, like, confidence and not really caring about, like, what other people think. Like, uh, you know how, like, people say, oh, certain people have, like, a big ego, you know? Um, you know, that could be, that, that could be good and it could help you in some cases, but some people have egos where, like, they don't do anything, you know, and they just like, like, say they can do it, but like, they don't really show it. So like, you can't really, you know, respect them or like, 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 you know, respect their ego, because they haven't really shown like that they're, you know, the best or something like, and like, it, you, your ego does have to be a little high, you know, in order for you to make like a lot of really great stuff, because like, that means you believe in yourself and that you believe that you're the greatest because in the beginning like the first person if you ever want to like be big in whatever you're trying to do you have to be the first person to believe in you, yourself you know like if someone else believes in you like that's all that they could do you know but once you believe in yourself then that will allow you to actually do something because no one can really do it for you you have to do it for yourself so like once you believe in yourself and you have that tribe and you have that like need to do something, then like you you will be big because like like that's you have to have that, you know? Like you need to you need to be big. Like that's just 
your desire, you know, your biggest desire. But yeah. You know, that's like uh, some truth right there. That's yeah. that, that's like uh, life lessons that not many actually know about. And it's good that it's being told right now because, uh, I don't know, it's, it's, it's tough, you know? Um, ego is good, but like at the same time, you know, it's really just believing in yourself. Like, like you said, it's the confidence in yourself and believing first before you take in what other people think about it. You know, like, what's that yeah. word? It's like, you, you need to be your own cheerleader. Like, sure, it's nice to have people rooting for you and cheering for you. It's like, um, like, uh, being your number one fan, right? Yeah. And like, it's like, it's like, I don't know how to describe it, but like, you kind of have to be friends with yourself first. Like, you've got to love who you are and accept that, like, you might not be like perfect, but like, you know, that's part of growing. You, you, you love yourself and in the process, you will eventually improve small little, small little steps, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and I think it's, like, best to also take in, like, to account, like, other people's um, ideas, but then you have to, like, some people will just say, oh, like, you suck or something, like, just to put you down, just so you, your ego will go down, just so you won't believe in yourself, and just so you could be less confident, confident in yourself, because, you know, that's just how, like, the world is, like, people just do that for no reason, but you have to, like, like, think think about like your actions because like some people like you know like how they'll be rude or something but they don't like you know like reflect or think about their actions or think about what they've said I think the best thing to do is not be too critical of yourself but like you know actually think about what you're saying and like like you know say oh do you want to be this person because like I think a lot of people have this like need or want to be you know truly respected or like they want to be like like this really like this figure that a lot of people you know like respect or admire or something but they don't put the work in and like like most of the time you have to you have to like understand human behavior you have to understand like how to speak and like how to like get what you want people to see you as you know so like, like if you want to be like truly respected by someone you have to like do certain things that will gain you that respect and sometimes like it's it's a lot oh, it's a lot of doing you know so like like you could say oh i'm the best i'm the best i'm the best as long as you want but like people always look at action you know like um like they say like they'll say michael jackson is like the biggest artist like biggest pop star in the world because like, you know he put in the work and like that's why like because he i don't i, I don't i've never like really seen an interview of him saying like oh i'm the biggest in the world or something normally he just shows it you know so like i think showing because people will see it you know so like i think just doing it rather than like saying it well it adds like so much more you know yeah 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 Mic drop. Mic drop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But yeah. What mic are you using? Is that a Blue Yeti? It is a Blue Yeti. How'd you know? Dude, I have the same. Dude, I have the same exact one, the black one, but mine has. The it has what? I can't hear you. Your audio cut out. Oh. Oh, now I hear you. All right. Yeah, no, it has a pop filter. Ah. Yeah. But yeah, dude, that's crazy. It's like the same exact color and everything. <laughs> Wait, why'd you, I chose that one because, like, like, I like the vibe, like, it'll add, like, a nice, like, aesthetic. Why, why did you choose it, that one? Um, because I had one of these, like, I don't know if you can see it, but I have one of these, like, little mic, I was intending to have, like, a mic mount, like, right here, but it doesn't fit, so I'm like, well, um, that's unfortunate, oh. but I was like, well, this mic, microphone still is pretty nice, like, in terms of quality, and, like, I can't really rely on this microphone because it's not the best quality yeah so i was like you know what if i'm gonna like the next step to improving the podcast is audio so i was like you know what? 
this is great if I'm doing like an at-home podcast episode. The audio is just nice. Wanted to invest yeah. in it. <laughs> yeah, no, dude, I think that like this microphone was the first thing I've ever bought with my like first ever paycheck, like at my job. Like um I worked at this like retirement home back when I was like like 15. Uh that was like my first job because that was the only place that would hire me. And um I remember like it took like a month to get like my first check because like you know uh it was paid bi-weekly and then like it I didn't like qualify for like that week pay so I had to wait like two more weeks. But once I got it, like this microphone and this headphone right here, like are the first two things I bought like ever and it's crazy and i still use them to this day like it's 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 wild my quality you know the quality lasts longer yeah yeah wait what uh headphones do you have uh hyperx, HyperX. I, uh, my friend got it for me because my other ones were they were okay but they were breaking down <laughs> yeah i get it dude headphones like I've had these are the Sony MDR 7506 because like they're good for mixing and they're really good like sound have a good sound quality. I was gonna get do you have you heard of the Audio Technica ATH M50X? No, I haven't. Those are like like really good, but I just chose these because they're like half the price of that and they're like also like industry standard uh for mixing and stuff. So I just you know like chose to get these. Because, like, you know, but yeah. <laughs> and I still have them to this day. And, but, like, I, the only thing I had to change was the cuffs because uh, it started breaking, like, the original ones. So yeah. these are, like, pretty new cuffs. But, yeah, it still works. As long as it works. That's the, that's the main thing. It's okay to spend a little bit, you know, as long as the quality works. <laughs> yeah. It just needs to last. Like, you, you get what you paid for, you know. But these were pretty good ones, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. anything anything you got in mind any last thoughts or um not really wait what hat is that in the back like i, I it looks like pac-man but then it it's is also, pac-man it is pac-man dude i thought it was a uh i thought it was either like a sports like team or pac-man but now but like are you into sports not really um i know i did cross country and track and fields but i wasn't super into like football or basketball or any of that yeah i get it yeah. you what about you um i played football back in high school like uh, i only played for my freshman year but it was cool like it was just like a new experience um I feel like i like playing basketball but though it's just it's just a lot more fun <laughs> um and bowling like would you consider bowling a sport Yes. yes, because it does require skill. Yes. Uh, yeah, it does. Because, like, there's some people who are like, oh, this is a sport, but this is. But I, honestly, I think, like, a lot of things are a sport, like ping pong, you know, table tennis and all that. Like, because people do work hard for it. And, like, you know, there are championships and stuff. But, yeah, like, like bowling, too. Like, would you say um, you're a good bowler? I'm okay. I'm not the greatest. Like... What's your highest score? Uh, 120? 120. Pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah. I got like, I think 168, something like that. So I know who good. not to bowl with. Who not to, I mean, it's not the best, honestly. Like, that's, uh -huh. I don't, I don't like go bowling that much, but yeah, like it's not, it's not the best, but, um, yeah. It, all, it just matters about the ball. Like, sometimes it's just, like, the ball just isn't right, you know? <laughs> <laughs> that, 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 There's that. a whole strategy set on that. Yeah, literally. Like, it's crazy how so many people, they look at the details, you know? It's all about the details. Like, you, you find, once you get the basics, that's when you start, like, going to the details. But, there yeah. you go. Yeah. Well... Yeah. That was that was great podcast. Um, any like final thoughts? Any you can do shout outs. Anything you want to say before we end today's episode? Yeah, check out my website, Byron's website .com. Like 
B-Y-R-O-N-S and website.com. And um, yeah, follow me on like uh on Twitter, it's Byron Raya. Um and um you know, check me out on on TikTok. I haven't really posted on TikTok like at all, but like it's called Byron the Wizard. So uh my ads are either Byron Raya or Byron the Wizard. So yeah, check me out. Cool. Well, thank you, Byron, for being a part of this episode. Um glad we finally got it all sorted out. And I look forward to having you in a couple future episodes whenever yeah. you would like. You're always welcome. Yeah, I'd love to come back. This was awesome. <laughs> but yeah. Um, thanks for listening and watching to today's episode. Have a great rest of your day, and I will see you in the next one.